What is going on, you beautiful lunatics? I hope you had a good weekend, and I hope you are ready because there are rumors and rumblings underneath the surface, and they say that it is possible that Luna Classic is about to get listed on Binance.us. Now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell to be notified of new content, and uh, yeah, share this with your friends all over Twitter because guess what? I'm the guy that keeps it real for you. I'm the guy that makes the charts for you, and guess what? I'm the one that's always right. It's not financial advice. I'm trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet. That bing, bada, bing, ching, ching, big profit. Big profit. Going the market sideways. I'm looking for ways to get paid. I'm checking my coins around breakfast. Then again around bedtime. Bet this. It's not financial advice. <laughs> but I'm always right. I'm... You know what? Before we get started, you vilified me when I said, I think the price is going to go down. And you went and you watched a whole bunch of other people that said, Suffering fuck attach lunatics. I think the price is gonna go spiking way up. It's gonna go crazy. Suffering fuck attach or whatever kind of stupid shit that these guys keep telling you. I'm the one that's telling you exactly what's going to happen. Not only am I telling you what's gonna happen, I write it out on a chart like it's in the stars and then I give it to you. You wanna see the chart? Okay, fine. We'll show you the chart. Here is the chart. And what did I tell you? I told you that we were in this bear pattern. I told you that we were accumulating in this fashion and that we were using this line right here as a point of resistance and that it was going to be very difficult in order to pump past that line. So what happened? We got literally to the time where I said it was going to break to the downside. What did it do? Now, I said it could break to the upside, and I gave you a 20% chance of that, but that the most likely scenario was that it would break to the downside, and that would be a beautiful thing for it because... Uh, at the end of this month, nine days from now, you're going to start seeing some burns coming from Binance. And it sure would be nice to see trading volume be a whole lot higher and the volume be way down here. Not the volume, I'm sorry, for the price action to be way down here because that would mean that you would burn a whole bunch. Now, at the end of that, it wouldn't be a huge amount, but it would be something and it would be way more. And I think we went over to Lunk Penguins and we looked at it and I said, hey, you know, it's like 13 million or 13 billion that they've burned so far. Uh, what if we could get down into the 12s because then it would be like 26 billion that they burn in that period of time? Like the number would be just incredible, right? But then everybody said, well, why you say price go down? Why not go up when go up? Because everybody else say go up. Well, everybody else is a goddamn idiot. I'm not. I'm telling you what's happening in the market. Uh, they're telling you <laughs> it's called engagement farming. Now, uh, here we are right here. The most logical scenario for this uh, in the playout, and we're going to leave it on here just so everybody can see it, just so there's no conspiracy. Uh, the most likely scenario in the culprit right now is that the market turns around just a little bit today, and we start to see maybe this little test right here. Then we start to see this little test right here. Uh, we might even see it just kind of move along this line for a little bit, and then we're going to come down here, and we're going to pull back out just a little bit, and we're going to see this is our line right here. That's where we're going to test. That's the support area. So then we'll probably kind of move this way a little bit. And then we got to make a decision at that point. And we got to make that decision at that point. And that is, are we going to go up? Or are we going to go down? Now, when you look at the timing on it, then you're going to see that that's like Saturday the 26th, uh, maybe Sunday the 27th. So the most logical scenario would be to move here and to move down here just a little bit. We'll probably see a little bit of a low uh, at that point. We're getting down here in the 12s. Uh, and then right around this time right here, then we break to the upside. Why? Because that's going to be Monday. That's going to be that's going to be uh, when the rest of the markets are waking up and everybody's going to be like, oh, I need to get in right now because I'm super smart and I want to get in before the burn happens. Right. Because the burn is going to happen from Luna Classic. And then when the burn happens from Luna Classic, the price is going to pump probably back up here to around two thousand. And then everybody who got in down here is going to get a 70 percent lift off of what's happening. Now, I'm just going to leave this out here. I could be completely wrong. I could be way off base. I'm going to take this part off, though, because I don't want to have that circle in the way. But that's exactly what it looks like. And I'm willing to bet that that's probably about what happens. And if it doesn't go up to here, by the way, then you could be looking at something like right here because there's a resistance spot. But that looks like how this thing is probably going to play out over the next couple of days. Now, let's move on for a little bit. I'm still sitting here with my delegation of 10,717,000. I got 58,000 in rewards. Rewards seem to be quite low uh, for the last little while. So, Eh, we'll see what happens. But uh, trading volume is up 60% on the day. Market cap is now below $1 billion. So uh, this the stretch continues. And remember, the FTX drainer wallet has been draining Ethereum and been selling it on the open market, wrecking the crypto prices. So 
that's what's going on. Um, and then you have over here uh, up 10% on the day, 31 million in, in volume on USTC. I still believe that USTC is going to have that big run. We're not looking at the chart today because we're moving pretty quickly, but I do think that that is about to happen. And then uh, the most important thing is we're going to do this one first right here. And it says, bear market or not, Lunk ain't dead. Lunk trading volume is up 100%. Hit the like button if you're holding Luna Classic and just a little engagement farming right here. But you, you kind of look here and you see here, this is the volume over the last 24 hours. And you can see where the volume is coming from. Uh, and you can see that it's starting to change. KuCoin is getting a little bit more active. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully this all plays out to, to, to the best advantage. Uh, but the most important thing right here, I'm hearing rumblings that Binance US could list Luna Classic soon. If you want them to make it happen, smash the like button for crypto. Um, this is a great, great opportunity. We would certainly like to see Luna Classic being listed over here. Moving on. All right, guys, there you have it for the day. What is going on is exactly what we've predicted so far. If you've been with me since the beginning, then you understand it. You know I'm always right. You know there's a reason for it. It's because I am. And, and that's the most logical reason that I can give you for it. Uh, I, I don't have anything else. But here's what I do have. If Binance.us does a listing, then all of what I just said really changes a whole lot. Uh, what ends up happening there is we probably look at about a 3x or a 4x from wherever we are at that point and then we start to see a little bit more of the burn but it doesn't really change too much so we will get the pump because of that but we'll also get the dump that comes after it so you know if we go up 4x from here and we're set at 15 and we go up to 6,000 we, we meant a new local high uh, then it's coming back down to about 14, 15, 1600. We'll add a few more holders but there are a bunch of uh, there are a bunch of weak handed jeets that are just trying to make a buck. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to get a whole bunch of people here. And listen, all of those whales who are your buddies right now, they're going to start selling. Do you know why? Because that's what they do. Don't forget that. Remember, nobody is your friend in cryptocurrency except me. Uh, it's not financial advice. My name's Bleeves. I'm always right. We will see you guys again soon. Happy Monday. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, later. I'm looking for the good life. Good life.